Hey guys, Stefan here from projectlifemaster.com. In this video, I wanna share with you a question that I received recently in a group coaching webinar that I did. And it's around a challenge that I think a lot of people face and I've experienced it as well at different points in my life. And this person was describing that he has this desire to build a business, to make money online, to make passive income. And he understands that it's gonna take a lot of focus and effort and determination to achieve his goals and be successful. The challenge is that he has a lot of friends and peers and family members that don't really get it. You know, I'm sure you can relate to this. You know, a lot of, you know, you build an online business, a lot of your friends or family members kind of think you're weird or strange or, you know, even me to this day, you know, my mom, uh, you know, when she meets her friends or people, they ask, you know, what does your son do? And she's like, okay, well, he's like a blogger and he does these YouTube videos and stuff. And they, they don't even think that's a job. They think this is like this weird, weird thing that a lot of people don't really get and understand. So I can relate to that as well. But, um, you know, his friends and his peers, they had different priorities than him. You know, they just wanted to go out, have fun, you know, uh, enjoy life, party, uh, you know, whatever the things that they wanted to do. But here he is that he wants to build a business and be successful. And a part of him understands that you need to make sacrifices, which really is my first answer to it, is you have to understand that this has to become a priority for you. And in many ways, if there's something that you really want and you wanna to commit to it, part of success and getting what you want is knowing what you're gonna to have to give up in order to get it. So you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices. You might you know, have to you know, work at home on your Friday nights or Saturday nights or on your weekends or evenings. That's what's required to build a business, to be successful, right? And you're gonna to have to say no to your friends that just wanna you know, go out, party, have fun, and invite you up and, and, and things like that, okay? So really my, my first piece of advice is you have to prioritize this. You have to make it more important than anything else if you wanna be successful at it. And you have to make sure that's a higher priority than just having fun. And you might have to say to your friends, hey, you know what, listen, I'd love to, which I've done many times, but I've gotta work. I've gotta build my future right now. I've gotta build that financial freedom that I want. And guess what, they might not understand it, right? You might grow a little bit distant from a lot of those friends. And it can be even challenging at times as well but you have to keep yourself focused on what you want and not let anything else distract you from that. You have to know what you want and more than that, why you want it. Have compelling enough reasons that are gonna pull you and drive you towards what it is that you want. You know, I remember for me, I, I would be in, um, I built my first online business in Southeast Asia. I remember going to Thailand and Laos and Cambodia and Vietnam. And I was broke, right? And I was just, you know, they're just surviving off whatever little money that I had. And I was living in hostels and I'd have to share these hostels with 12 other people. There'd be bunk beds. And typically people that go to these hostels, they're not like me. They're not trying to build an online business or are there to work. They're more there to have fun. So I still remember the many nights that I had, of, I'd be, um, you know, working in the hostel or it'd be like one o'clock in the morning and I'd be on the bunk bed you know, with uh, my laptop, like learning search engine optimization or something like that. Uh, well, people would like come home drunk and uh, you know, after the club and stuff like that. And I would just be there focused on working. But you know what? I didn't care. I wasn't distracted by that at all. You know, I knew that if I just met people and had fun, that'd only be just, just be temporary. I wanted to create something that was lasting something that would allow me to have the freedom to do whatever the hell it is that I wanted in my life. Because I knew that if I just met someone or befriended these people or had friends, that there weren't real friendships. You know, I mean, you meet people when you're traveling, but you're only gonna hang out with them for a few days before they go back home or you go back home. You know, so I wasn't, I wasn't seduced by that temporary pleasure and satisfaction. I was more after the ultimate dream of fulfillment of what my life would ultimately be like. You know, and that's just an example of having that outcome be more important than the distraction and being able to say no and take yourself away from that, okay? Now, the other piece that I wanna share with you as well that's very important in this that you ha really have to look at, and this is a challenging thing to look at, but it's who you're surrounding yourself with, your peers. Who you spend time with is who you become, okay? Who you spend time with is who you become because the people in your life that you surround yourself with 
are going to influence who you are more than anything. Because we all have a desire and a need of connection and love from different people in our lives. And we'll lower our standards or raise our standards based on the other level that other people are playing the, le- the game of life at. Right? So you have to be really careful about who you're surrounding yourself with. You know, I know for myself, once I got into business and making money online, a lot of my friends are online marketers, they're entrepreneurs, they're people that are doing incredible things in the world just because I gravitate more towards that. But I've also consciously selected these people in my life as the friends and the peers that I want because they drive me and they push me to be more successful. You know, for me, I have friends, we do mastermind calls and accountability calls and we go to coffee shops together, we work on our business. Our phone calls are talking about cool things that we learn or things going on in our business. I have friends that are extremely healthy and fit. People that are fitness models and bodybuilders that I spend time with. People that have incredible relationships because when I'm around these types of people, people that are happy, fulfilled, spiritual, guess what happens? I raise my game up to that level as well. And now we're growing together. There's no friction. Whereas if you're going down this path, but you have all these other people that are in many ways holding you back, not consciously, but more so because you don't want to lose their love. You don't want to lose their connection. You're going to lower your standards just to be able to fit in, just to be able to hang out with them, right? So if you have people that are depressed, they're unhappy, they're lazy, that maybe as an employee, uh, they're broke, that don't have great relationships, that are overweight, and you surround yourself with people like that, then the challenge is you're gonna start to drop and lower your standards as well. You know, it's almost like if you wanna play a great sport, right? The way that you get better at sports is you play with people that are at a higher level than you, that are performing at a higher level, because when you're around that, you have to push yourself harder just to stay on the corner of the field with them. You have to raise your standards, right? If you had a bunch of friends that are really successful doing awesome things, you know, and those are your friends, then you're gonna feel this internal pressure and drive in yourself to raise your game to be up that level so that you can be like them and have that connection and relate to them on a deeper level as well. But if you're around people that, you know, are playing the game at a much lower level and you're playing it up here, you're gonna to start to find yourself slowly dropping down and lowering your standards as well. You know, you go for dinner with your friends and you know, your, your incredibly healthy and fit peer group, they order salads and they're drinking wheatgrass and lemon water, all that sort of stuff. And then you're around people that are obese and don't take care of their health. They're ordering cheeseburgers and hamburgers and french fries, all that sort of stuff, you know, pop. Uh, you know, you hang out with them, you're gonna notice that your eating habits change to start to eat like them as well, right? Because you're gonna feel weird eating a salad in front of everyone else that's eating everything else or drinking or whatever it might be. But you're around people that are eating salads and stuff, you're gonna feel weird eating hamburger and fries. So that's the power of this. Um, You know, I had a really powerful experience. I went to Las Vegas to the Amazing Selling Machine seminar uh, a few weeks ago and I got invited as a part of a special VIP group uh, with Matt Clark and Jason Katzenbach and a lot of the speakers at the event of these really highly successful individuals. And what they did was they picked us up in a limousine and uh, we you know, had champagne and everything and I didn't really even know any of these people but I'm in the limousine drinking champagne with them and we're celebrating and they took us go-karting, right? And they covered the go-karting with uh, everything and they took us for this awesome dinner where they rented this room. And it was a really awesome experience because You know, typically for me, a lot of my friends and peer group, you know, I might be one of the more successful ones out of my friends. But in this environment, I was one of the lower successful people in the room. You know, I felt like uh, just like a regular person around these guys that were just doing such incredible things. I was kind of like a fly on the wall. And I'm like, wow, like these guys are doing these incredible things. And I'm like, wow, you know, I've recognized this guy from the internet, all this sort of stuff. And it's a really cool feeling. And I guess it's an experience people have when they meet me as well and look up to me in a way. But um, it's just really cool being around that because when you're around that, you get really inspired. When you're around people that are doing really, really well and doing incredible things, it motivates you to raise your game as well. And so, you know, being a part of mastermind groups, and that's why I created my group coaching mastermind as well, is for people to be around that because a lot of people, their day-to-day lives, they don't know anyone that's successful. A lot of people don't know people that are wealthy. They don't know people that are really happy. They don't know people that are healthy and fit. They don't know people that are making money online. 
And so when you're doing it by yourself, it can feel like a very lonely road. And so you need to surround yourself with people that have what it is that you want. Maybe they don't even have what you want, but they're at least on the path towards it. They're on the journey. A really uh, powerful story I want to share with you guys, I heard from Tony Robbins. And Tony Robbins was invited to speak for the US Marines. And uh, the general came to him and asked him to speak, and it was a speech about raising your standards. And Tony Robbins thought, raising their standards, the Marines have the highest standards of anybody in the country. And he agreed to go and speak. So he goes to these Marines, there's I guess a couple thousand of them, and he gives this incredible speech. And he really inspires them and uplifts them, and they get really motivated and excited. And it was just an amazing presentation. And then afterwards, the general says to him, to Tony, he says, you know, that was a really incredible presentation. And I know that these soldiers here today were really moved and inspired by you, and that their standards are gonna to go to a whole new level. But he said, you know, one thing that frustrates me and that I have a hard time with is that I know that a lot of these soldiers, you know, right now they have the highest standards that they're ever gonna have right now in their life. They have to wake up at a certain time every single day. They have to make sure that their bed is impeccable. It's made perfectly. They gotta make sure their belt and their shoes and their, their physical activity and endurance and stamina has to be at a very, very high level. And he said, you know, they have such high, incredible standards right now, but I know that when they leave here and they go back home to their friends and family, that those standards are gonna drop. A lot of them get lazy. They get negative. They get out of shape. They go broke. They become depressed. And he said, it really frustrates me. He says, why is that? You know, you've met a lot of people. You've met a lot of human beings. Why does that happen? Is it that people are just lazy? Do people need to be babysat? Is this just the way that it is? And Tony looked at him and said, no. It's because people's lives are a direct reflection of the expectations of their peer group. I'm gonna say that again. People's lives are a direct reflection of the expectations of their peer group. When you surround yourself with people that have high expectations of you, high standards, you're gonna raise your game. In the case of the, the US military, you're in an environment where there's high standards, so you automatically raise your game because of those high expectations of your peer group. You go back to your family and friends with lower standards, lower expectations, human beings drop down to that level as well. That's the power of this. That's why you have to surround yourself with people at a high level. You need to get in relationships with people at a high level that are how you want to be. And you always need to find people like that. It doesn't mean that you can't still hang out with the, you know, some of your other friends or family members as well, but you have to be more, a little bit more selective about who you're going to let into your life and surround yourself with. So I want to leave you with that. Hopefully this video inspires you and uh, answers the question that the person sent me. Um, but that's what I'd share with you, and I think it's something, a lesson that we all really need to apply more in our life if we want to raise, the, raise our, our game, grow more, contribute more, have more success, or whatever it might be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe or like the video or leave a comment. Love to hear what you think. I'll talk to you soon.